all right guys in the previous video we were getting an unhealthy target group and that's being said we our service was uh, showing that service is not available because the alb is keep pointing to the target group and it was not retaining anything that's why the service got failed so what all of we have to do over here is that we need to check our apis first so what all apis we have so if i'm talking about books i have slash books slash books slash books everything is slash book okay now if i go back to the target group the target group i created books but see the path for the health check is route one like path slash directly select like slash route i don't have like just the slash route as an endpoint over here so alb is trying to hit directly slash route and it's telling her, hey i can't find that one if that's why it's like failing so the thing is that what all you have to do is go into your target group edit it whatever the endpoint you have in my case i have slash books save it i created that now that's fine i don't have to change any alb now create a new service that service just go inside this one creating books books api uh, service connect it's connected this one port is this books uh, books api 9001 sorry 9001 for this one now in the load balancer you have to select the load balancer and uh, existing load balancer you have to select which is this one um, as is existing listener which is http 80 now as soon as i'm selecting books see this one is like forwarding the traffic to slash book previously it was sla forwarding to you know just a slash so you just need to edit that one and just create it and you are good to go now so the second point is that you have to assign uh, i would say you have to register uh, the other uh, user group for that alb because it's currently not being registered but let's see how that thing works over here so if i'm going here keep refreshing it first we need to check whether that service is being launched so service is being created and then once that is being created alb alb will be responsible for you know hitting that target uh, which is this task okay so it's still being provisioning so that's why you are not seeing anything here as soon as if as soon as you hit or um, that is being provisioned so i'll just quickly refresh that um, so as soon as that application starts running you will see not this one but this one health checks and everything should be working fine so keep yep so see this one is initializing which means that application already launched the ec2 instance which i was talking about uh, as a target so let me quickly quickly go and check see this one is now healthy this time so it's like that that is being pointed to the slash now if i go back over here slash this one hit it it's not showing me anything because it is being loaded so if i go here and type now books it yeah books not found so that's how we can you know uh, redirect traffic something like that <coughs> now the second thing what you have to do is assign a new load balancer with the traffic controls like with the rules and everything how you can do that one based on the path for example i'll be having one more target group right so for example here i just wrote it down slash books and one but that is being by default uh, redirected to this one but i have to assign some rule based on the path parameter it should redirect the traffic to different target groups how we can do that one so let's see in the next video thanks for watching